Hi, this is Carol Parisi. He, we are still here at Free Pack, and we now have Adam Angeski. Uh, Adam was a gubernatorial candidate back in that great year of 2010 and a good friend to the grassroots Tea Party movement. Adam, how are you? Well, I'm doing great. Tonight was a it was an historic night, I think, for a thousand people in the auditorium when they got to see one of the greatest champions of freedom and liberty in the 20th century, Lech Wałęsa, address everybody, and that's quite an experience. And God bless him, he flew all the way from Poland for this event, and he's on his way back. He's on his way back now. Um, what are you doing here in Illinois? You still uh, tell our viewers here what you're doing here in Illinois. I know it's for the good of Illinois. Well, a lot of people are moving out of Illinois, so that's a great question. What are you doing here in Illinois? Not you know? here. No, no, no. What are you not in here? <laughs> what are you doing for Illinois? Because yeah, I know you are doing right. something for the good of Illinois. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, uh, so uh, <laughs> recently we convinced uh, House Republican candidates to run on our policy agenda. It's the Save Illinois Taxpayers Agenda, and it's three parts. And the first part is to freeze property taxes. And I talked about this tonight that, uh, you know, the entire audience said their home values fell, and everybody said that their property tax bill increased, and I believe that that should be illegal. And we did a poll, and 70% of Democrats agree with me that, that that situation should be illegal. The second part of the uh, Save Illinois Taxpayer Pledge is something that we've spearheaded uh, for a long period of time, going back about three years, and that's an adversarial forensic audit of all government spending from the local all the way to Springfield. And I highlighted specific examples of corruption, including the city of Waukegan, who gave $2,400. They cut checks from the city, taxpayer money, to the AFL-CIO PAC, and that should be indicted and they should be prosecuted criminally for that action. Uh, the third part of our, our uh, Save Illinois Taxpayers uh, pledge is to repeal the 67% income tax hike. Now we've got one of the highest corporate income taxes in the world. Our corporate tax rate exceeds Russia. Last year our personal income here in the state of Illinois fell by 2.5%. They hiked their taxes by 67% and let's get rid of it, let's repeal it, and let's start uh, bringing um, some solvency to uh, to Illinois state government, uh, just spend, we don't have a revenue problem, we have a spending problem here in the state. Now Adam, our election is a few days away from here. Uh, I know the Republican Renaissance PAC is six plus six minus one. Uh, what do you think? Do you think we're going to have six new folks in the House, six new in the Senate, minus a Michael Madigan? Hey, we got 10 days. I think it's possible. We're getting great top-of-the-ticket help from Romney uh, uh, when he runs for president, obviously. Uh, you know, for nine months I've said that Romney was going to win that race. Uh, I, I think that we are going to. The people are going to speak at the ballot box. I'm comfortable with that in 10 days. And I believe that we will flip six seats at least in the House and retire Michael Madigan as Speaker and make him the minority leader.